Hi guys, hope everybody's fit and well. Welcome to Let's Get Running, I'm Tony James. And I'm back out running for the first time since the Manchester Marathon. So here we are, it's uh, Tuesday tea time. Oh, if you're an American early evening. Uh, I wanted to get out a bit earlier today, but the dog's been in for uh, surgery. She snapped a cruciate ligament a few months ago and uh, she actually went into surgery today to have her leg put back together. Well, basically, they broke her leg, put some padding in, put the ligament back together, screwed it all together and put it in a titanium cage. So I've been worried about her all day. But the good news is, we've been to the vets, we've picked her up and she's back home morphined up <laughs> Bushy's home so that's good news so it's uh she's got eight weeks of rest now unlike us we're back on the running so yeah as i say if it's the first one after the marathon monday i took us a complete rest day uh, but no tuesday we're out and uh we're not caning it just doing about three miles somewhere between nine and ten minute pace just to get the body loosened up again after all the stiffness. It's strange because on the video, if you haven't seen it, I'll link to it below, so go and have a watch of the race video. But I was talking about how my race was compromised by the problems with my calves. The way that as soon as we hit the hilly bits around Oldsingham, my calf muscles just tightened up and it really did feel like I had two bricks at the back of my legs and it was really it hurt it actually hurt to run but the strange thing is once I'd finished the wife came and picked me up and went around to my daughter's house in Salford for a brew after I'd had that coffee my cars were fine and have been fine ever since so it's weird how they hurt during the run and then just sort of like cleared up within an hour so yeah it just sort of like cleared up and there's been no issue since. But now, the DOMs have set in and the DOMs are actually at the top of my IT band on both legs. So I'm presuming that's where, when I've been bringing my knee up to run, that they've been under pressure and they're aching like, well, they were aching like no tomorrow earlier on, but they've eased off now and once I'm running, they feel fine. So yeah, that's just to bring you up to date on where I am with the running wise. I've sat down and I've spoken to the family and some running friends and I've dissected the race and I've seen where I've done well and I've worked out where I've got room for improvement. So what I'm going to do is when I get back home, I'm going to get into the studio and I'll go through what I've learnt from the Manchester Marathon and what I'm going to change or what I'm going to do the same in my next training block. Well, speaking of training blocks, my next race is actually a half marathon. It's at Alton Towers and it's in the middle of November. So that's the next race that's coming up. If you're doing that race around Alton Towers, please let me know in the comments below. Right, let's get on with this run and I'll speak to you in a short while. Yeah. 